Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today our topic is whirlpool bath. So let's begin with the topic now. Whirlpool refers to turbulence that is produced by a jet of air. Uh, this is basically produced by an electric pump. Uh, this electric pump mixes the air and the water into a jet stream. Uh, the direction of the stream can be altered by changing the position of the nozzle here. So uh, let's see about the principle which it works on. It works on the principle of conduction. Uh, here uh, we use both the effects of temperature also with the mechanical effects of water. So warm whirlpool contains water at temperature range between uh, 36 to 45 degrees Celsius and uh, jet of water of air stream allowed to produce turbulence in the water. So basically here we use both the effects of temperature and the mechanical effects of water to provide the therapy. Types of whirlpool bath. So uh, we have uh, low boy tank, high boy tank, habard tank and extremity tank. Now let's look into each type of the whirlpool bath in a bit detail. So as you can see here this is the low boy tank. Uh, it can be used to allow an adult to sit in the tank and can uh, range in the capacity from uh, 75 to 105 gallons of water. Um, high boy tank, uh, sometimes referred to as a hip or leg tank where uh, an uh, extremity can be immersed and uh, the capacity range is from uh, 60 to 105 gallons. Uh, next comes the full body immersion or habard tank. The Habard tank has a greater potential for exercise during the treatment due to its large size. It can accommodate the full body and uh, the capacity of this water tank is uh, really high. So as you can see here, this is what the Habard tank looks like. And uh, yeah, so here uh, uh, we need to keep in mind that uh, exercises can be performed within the tank and uh, changes of uh, chances of contamination are more and also it is very expensive next comes the extremity tank the extremity tank is usually used for the upper or the lower extremities and has a capacity of 10 to 45 gallons of water temperature range uh, temperature range uh, we can adjust it can be cold or hot or warm uh, so, depending upon the area being treated and the condition being treated, we can uh, set the temperature. So, these are the ranges. Uh, for hot, it would be between uh, 99 to 104 degrees. And for warmth, it would be between 96 to 99. For cold, it would be between 55 to 65 degrees. Techniques of application. So, how do we use it? So, basically, the whirlpool tank is filled with water first. Then, the water temperature has to be checked by the hand and the thermometer. Uh, please adjust the temperature of the water according to the patient's condition and also the bearing capacity of the patient. Explain the procedure and uh, reassure the patient. Then, place the body part in the water. Uh, encourage the patient to move while keeping the body part under the water during the treatment. And uh, also especially when there is any uh, joint involved and uh, after completion of the treatment dry the body part and uh, wrap it uh, keeping it warm. And uh, the treatment is usually given for 15 to 20 minutes. Therapeutic and physiological effects. So uh, the whirlpool bath combines the values of conductive heat and gentle massage too. Uh, it provides a sedative action, it uh, relieves pain by uh, stimuli uh, and also uh, it happens due to the pain gate mechanism, it acts on the pain gate mechanism. Uh, also there will be relaxation of the muscles that has uh, spasms. It produces vasodilation, it softens the scar, it improves the local arterial and lymphatic circulation and it also decreases the edema. Indications. So, indications of whirlpool bath are uh, poor circulation, chronic edema, arthritis, polomyelitis, stiff joints, infected wounds and uh, also after the removal of the plaster cast. Contraindications. Contraindications are uh, fever patients and anesthetic area, recent skin graft, active bleeding, any open wound or any hemorrhage and also very careful regarding the skin allergies. We need to be aware of um, 
uh, few things like ischemic diseases for treatment uh, the patient may feel dizzy during the treatment or uh, can increase in edema and also hydrophobia that is fear of water thank you so much i hope you guys uh, understood and uh, do subscribe to my channel and like the video comment down below which uh, topic you guys want me to do next on thank you so much